Let us explore how substitution helps to find limits. In this function given here, if I substitute 0 for x, then I get 0 in the denominator and 0 plus 8 is 8 and cube root of 8 is 2, 2 minus 2 is also 0. So I land up with something like 0 over 0 which is an indeterminate, right? Now in such cases we need to simplify our expression and one technique you could use was you know rationalization but with radicals it's very difficult. So what I will adopt here is substitution method and teach you how to use substitution to solve such problems. Okay, so what we will do here is uh, this part we will substitute as something. For example, I can write let x plus 8 to the power of 1 over 3 equals to let's say p. In that case, what is x equals to? We'll try to figure out. Okay, so what we will do is we'll solve it and we say, well, in that case, x plus 8 is equals to p cube, right? And therefore, x is equals to p cube minus 8. Is that okay? So that is a kind of substitution. With this, what we can do is we can replace numerator, this factor with p, and this factor x with p cube minus 8, right? That is one part. Whenever we do substitution, then, you know, the limit approaches also has to be replaced. So here as x approaches 0 what happens to p? So we say as x approaches 0 then we if we substitute 0 here then it is like 0 plus 8 cube root right which is equals to cube root of 8 which is equals to 2. So p approaches 2 is it okay? So that's two parts. First we have to see how to replace each variable Second, how to replace the limit, okay? Once we did do all this, we can write this as equal to limit p approaches 2, right? And here, this becomes p minus 2, and the denominator becomes p cube minus 8. Is that okay? Now, this is an easy, easy, easy rational function to solve, right? So, we can just factor out the denominator, and then see how what results we get. So in the numerator we get p minus 2 and denominator is p cube minus 2 cube, right? 8 is 2 cube, right? So it can be expanded using a cube minus b cube formula. I hope you remember a cube minus b cube formula. Let me write it here. a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b times a square plus a b oh, plus b square okay so we'll use this so so it is a is p for you and b is 2 for you so you get p minus 2 times p square plus a b is 2 p right 2 p plus 2 square which is 4 for you correct that's what you get now important thing here is we got a factor in numerator which is similar to the factor in denominator so i can now simplify this and then write this as limit p approaches 2 right and I get 1 over p square plus 2p plus 4 right and now if I substitute p as 2 then I get 1 over 2 square plus 2 times 2 plus 4 which is 1 over 2 square is 4 this is also 4 this is also 4 4 times 3 12 so I get limit of this function as 1 over 12, correct? So I hope you, you appreciate how we simplified our expression by using substitution. So this is a very, very good technique to use and you can do many problems uh, with this technique. And let me give you some, and this one is kind of difficult, but I think you can get it. Let's just say the question is limit x approaches let's say 4 and you have this function 2 minus square root x over 3 minus square root of 2x plus 1 within the radical right so I'll try to do this kind of question here you can substitute x better substitute 2x plus 1 square root as something square and find what x is put it there 
and then do it. It looks complicated, but uh, in, it is uh, to some extent not that simple as I did. Okay, if you have difficulty, you can always put your comments and we can see how to solve it. Okay, you can try one more. Let me write here for you, uh, which is similar to what I have done. That will be good for you. First, first try this one, okay, and then try the one which I gave you earlier. So this one is complicated, okay. So we'll have this similar to this here. So we have two x plus one to the power of one over three, correct? Minus one over x. So this is kind of same. So find the limit of this function using the above technique, and once you master it and get some confidence try this out this may be tricky okay but it is worth trying okay it's a very good question i've seen it in the test paper and the students struggling to solve it if you get it perfect very good job good done thank you